Hey everyone, so let's dive into this concept of a generator and, and what actually is a generator within ChatGPT. So think of, so ChatGPT is a tool. I uh, think of it as a database of information that can be fed back to you in a meaningful way that's easier for us to understand. Um, it can create, it can develop, it can strategize, it can plan, it can do, sorry, planning not as much, um, it can do a ton of different things, actionable ways and items. And basically, if you learn how to prompt ChatGPT to be a generator for you, that means that if you want to generate something specifically, you can then hopefully pre-create it or pre-train it so that it can generate what you're looking for. So on the fly, I'm going to create, I'm going to try on the fly with you to create a rubric generator. Okay, so a rubric. So obviously there are different kinds of rubrics, but if you think of a standard rubric, you're gonna have different levels. You're gonna have varying degrees of, um, of complexity and ability. So what I would normally do, I say normally, uh, in the limited time of using this, um, I, if, if I had examples of what I was trying to create, that would be of tremendous value because ChatGPT works best with examples. But I'm gonna use um, just some logic and thinking and just sort of think through how we could try and create a generator and create a rubric generator for our assignments, where all we have to put in is the type of assignment and maybe the levels of the rubric or something, and then ChatGPT will actually create one for us. So let's actually start. So the first thing you always wanna do is, um, like a normal conversation, uh, for me, I'll usually just say chat. Um, I, uh, what is, <laughs> what is a rubric? Reason why is, uh, well, I gotta make sure I get this refreshed and renewed, uh, and good to go. All right. Let it time out for a little bit. All right. So I'm going to say chat. What is a rubric? And the reason why we're doing this is it's always important to set the stage, sort of to focus chat in understanding. Now, um, meaning you want to focus what chat understands and the intent and the context so that you get a better result. So it says a rubric is a scoring guide used to assess performance or achievement in a particular task or assignment. It's typical, it typically consists of a set of criteria or standards that define the quality of work expected from different levels of performance. Okay. Um, so we have sort of a definition of what a rubric is. Um, what are there specific, specific criteria that all rubrics have just to see what comes up? No, there are no set of rules for creating a rubric. Uh, most rubrics have several common features or criteria. These uh, typically include clear performance expectations, a range of performance levels, specific descriptions, consistency and objectivity, and alignment to learning objectives. That makes complete logical sense and so on. So I'm trying to think, how can I create a generator or at least can I create a template generator? Can I create a generator that creates templates for rubrics? Because rubrics are specific to performance, um, the objective, uh, obviously learning objectives. So let's do this. Um, are there specific kinds of um, criteria for a rubric template? Let's see what chat says for that. Yes, there are different types of criteria that you can be included in a rubric depending on the type of task, the content pro uh, process, sorry, process criteria, presentation criteria, technical criteria, and creativity. Say, so, okay, um, create, so now I'm going to, I'm going to basically see if I can create a template. Create for me a rubric template that I can start with that is adaptable and generic enough um, for me to take and modify for any um, task. Let's see what chat does. Sure, here's a rubric um, that's 
a generic enough one. So criteria one, two, three, four, five, clear, specific, blah, blah, blah. Okay, it's a basic enough rubric. Um, obviously, we there's a lot more levels of detail we can kind of do. So what we've done so far is we sort of defined what a rubric is. Um, we've gone through and said, are, here, are there any criteria holistically? And then it's saying, yeah, there are different criteria. Are there any specific criteria might be in a template for a rubric? And then it's like, could you create for me a template for a rubric that I could use? So this is a simple template you can fill uh, and so on. So now we've sort of established a bit of a foundation of context here. So now I'm going to go back to a previous conversation I had and take it and ah, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to actually let's just do this. So I'm going to now create the prompt where I want to create focus chat in such a way that I can put in one or two or three key terms and it creates a rubric for me I said I want you to act as my rubric generator where I will give you the topic, the topic type of assessment and number of levels like this. So I'm going to say topic is, um, business idea, case study, and four levels. Oh, I'm gonna change the word assessment. There we go. And you will then take that information and create a creative and appropriate rubric that in, uh, incorporates that information you will be the best rubric creator that you can be and you must ask me any clarifying questions before we are done so that I can clearly direct you to focus on what I need. We will go through this process step by step until I am sat until I am happy. And once again, you will then restate the prompt, the improved prompts that I can use. So basically I want you to act as a rubric generator where I will give the topic type of assessment and number of levels like this. So business and idea, case study, four levels. You will then take the information and create a creative and appropriate rubric that incorporates that information. You will be the best rubric creator that you can be and must ask me any clarifying questions before we are done so that I can clearly direct you to focus on what I need. We will go through this process step by step until I am happy. You will then restate the improved prompt that I can use. I want to state move that further up. I am happy and you will then restate the prompt and so on. Let's see what happens. So let's see what chat does. Sure, I can help you with that. Before we, okay, there we go. So basically sure I can help you with that. So the topic, business idea, type, and number of levels, which it told it to do. Before we can proceed, can you clarify what specific learning objectives or goals you want the rubric to evaluate for the case study? This will help me ensure the rubric is tailored to your needs. So what chat's doing is it's first trying to clarify. So the hope is that when I have created this conversation and created this generator, I will put in the topic type of assessment and levels and chat will ask me questions to clarify and refine 
what it needs to give me an appropriate rubric. So um, let's just say, um, what are the learning objectives and goals? Said I do, just for norm, normally we would have these. I don't have any on hand. Do not have any learning objectives on hand or any specific goals surprise me <laughs> um perfect all right so it's creating a rubric case study and the criteria is idea generation market research flexibility analysis presentation and it said at the different levels so exemplary proficient developing emerging okay and then obviously um, remember the case study was a business idea. It was a case study, a number of levels, the rubric it's creating for us would be a rubric to assess a case study that's about business ideas and is a level four level or a four level rubric. And basically it said, here's a template for assessing a case study. Um, and here is the draft. So the business idea is original, creative and demonstrates a high level of innovation. The idea is clearly explained, feasible and realistic. And it goes obviously the bit uh, all the way down to emerging being the business idea lacks originality, creativity, and innovation. Okay. So it would make sense. You'd have business idea and you can talk about ideation, uh, market research, flexibility, or feasibility analysis and presentation. And it says, please let me know what you think of this draft rubric. And if there's anything specific changes you'd like me to make. Um, yes. Can you make the topic? Let's see if we can, let's see if we can push chat GPT. Um, and really completely deviate from what we were thinking. So I'm gonna change the topic from business idea to um, a, uh, from a business idea to uh, what's a new topic? We'll say hot peppers, <laughs> just because uh, it's completely different. Okay, so this is where we're seeing some problems. So, the new case study, the concept that this rubric is for would be the idea of the topic would be on hot peppers. It would be a case study and be a four level rubric. So um, the idea of the criteria being idea generation, market research, feasib uh, feasibility analysis and presentation more in line with a business idea, which would make sense. But let's see how chat has defined the specific criteria. So for the idea of a hot peppers case study, an example answer for exemplary based off idea generation is hot, uh, the hot pepper idea is original, creative and demonstrates a high level of innovation. So it really just changed the topic truly to hot pepper versus business. So I'm gonna say um, that was not what I was looking for. Yes, the topic changed, but I want to focus on hot peppers growing in the desert. Let's see what happens now. And we'll see if this falls apart or if it works. So this whole case study is the idea of, um, remember we, the case study doesn't exist. We're sort of, I'm trying to think, can I create a generator that creates a rubric for me? Um, hot pepper ideas level demonstrates innovation, clearly defined. So really it's still focused on the same context. So let's take this one step further and it hit its end um, where I'm going to restart and just give it um, a topic, a, a topic, an assignment and levels. So we're going to call the topic fashion, um, fashion styles as the topic. Because remember, the idea was to create a generator that all I had to put in was the topic, the style of assessments, and the four levels, and it would create a rubric for me, or at least a starting point for a draft. So let's forget what we did earlier and see if we have still have that context set. So the topic is fashion styles in Germany. Just, yeah, good enough outside the box. Um, the It would be a report is the assessment and three levels and see what it does. Okay, wow, so it, it is, 
holistically working. So it's creating, now remember, we haven't all <laughs> sort of pulling it together my thoughts and trying to see how can we utilize ChatGPT for efficiency for us. So what we did here is if I go back to our original, original context and setup, basically we went through what's a rubric, are there elements that are in good rubrics? Is there are elements that fit in a template for rubrics? All of this is to focus chat GPT so it understands what we want to do. And then it's like, well, can you create a rubric for me as a template? And then from there, I said, now I want you to be a rubric generator. I want to be able to give you three things, the topic, the, the type of assessment and the level, and then you will create the rubric. And then you will ask me questions after to improve the rubric until I'm satisfied. And our first one was just a business idea and it created a rubric for us. Um, and then basically we were trying to modify that rubric a little bit. And then I said, well, let's go back to the original idea. If I had set it up properly, all I have to do is technically put in a topic, a type of assessment and the level, and it will create a template for a rubric, which I went back to the topic was fashion styles in Germany. The assessment style was the reports. And then there'd be three levels. And it created a rubric that said rubric for fashion styles in Germany report. The first criteria for grading is content, organization, and clarity, and exemplary satisfactory needs improvement. Um, the exemplary report would basically report provides a comprehensive analysis of the various fashion styles in Germany. The information is well researched, detailed. So holistically it worked, which means that now I have a trained at a high level. I have a trained generator to create a rubric all just by basically prompting and guiding chat to, to understand what we're trying to create. And um, it's not perfect, but it's a starting point. And it could be a way to see what, how are these different levels of criteria written? How could we be assessing this? And then we could even take this and go once many steps further and change specific wording or criteria or um, different um, structures for how we assess and develop and analyze. So at the end of the day, it is a ChatGPT is an amazing tool that is not perfect. It's limited by our input and limited by our ability to focus ChatGPT on what we want it to look at and, and understand. But we can do this. So will I use this generator? I'm not sure. Um, but at least I could now go back into this conversation and say, hey, here is the topic. Here is the type of assessment. Here are the levels for the rubric. And then it will create at least a template for me. I can then start and then modify and adapt. So hopefully that was interesting and just showing you different ways to potentially approach this. You may not use a rubric generator in the future, but as an educator, there are many ways that we can sort of get further ahead and utilize a tool like this to at least give us some different insight um, as to what, uh, what we may create for our classes. So hopefully that was interesting. Thank you for sticking around. And until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video.